welcome. I'm standing next to Waterhead War Memorial in the heart of Waterhead Village. This is one of the very first war memorials ever built in Oldham, one of the first in the country. It was built by public subscription to commemorate, to remember the men of Waterhead who gave their lives during the Great War, the war to end all wars. And now, today, Armistice Day, we are remembering the people of Waterhead and dedicating ourselves to the ways of peace, the ways of God, the right way. Let us pray. We dedicate this site to the continuing glory of God, the God who commands us to live our lives working for peace. We ask God's blessing upon the memorial in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. They shall not grow old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we shall remember them. <laughs> God, our Heavenly Father, infinite in wisdom and in love and power, have compassion on those for whom we pray today. Inspire us to alleviate all suffering and empower us 
as we strive to establish here on earth your kingdom of peace and justice in which dust and ashes have no dominion. Amen. reading from the Bible, the Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you shall abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. These things have I spoken to you, that my joy be in you, and that your joy be full. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love hath no one than this, that they lay down their life for their friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for the servant does not know what the master is doing, but I have called you friends. For all that I have heard from my Father, I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit should abide, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give it to you. This I command you, that you love one another. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In response to the suffering caused by war, past and present, we now pledge ourselves anew to peace. We pledge ourselves to the service of God and to helping all members of the human race, of whatever age or gender, race or background, colour or creed, that we may help encourage and comfort others that we may support those who work for the relief of the needy and for the peace and welfare of the nations. To that end we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We now ask the blessing of God the Almighty into our lives and into our living. God grant to the living grace to the departed rest, to the Church, the Queen, the Commonwealth, United Nations and all people, peace and concord, and to us and to all his servants, life everlasting, and the blessing of God the Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and those you love, be with you the blessing of God the Almighty, now and forever.